What up, what up, what up? It's DJ Envy. Shout to Coach Anthony Leggins, all right? He has a series called How to Buy the Hood, all right? It's inspiring us to buy real estate, all right? Now, you know I do the same. I always promote real estate, so shout to this brother that's doing the same thing. You can watch it only on REHTV and subscribe now. Peace. This is your boy, real estate mentor, Anthony Leggins, and I would like to welcome you to another episode of How to Buy the Hood. That means taking action in our communities through real estate investing. Yeah. So as many of you already know, I am a real estate broker, and I'm also a licensed builder, aka licensed contractor. So I have a lot of experience in real estate, and I, I just have a passion now to share it with you and that it, it's recently come upon me because to be honest with you guys I, i've been selfish over the years i mean i've only worked with certain clients and only shared my knowledge with certain investors that were you know just to be honest with you you know willing to spend the money uh to invest in work with someone like myself but you know, now I just have a, a strong desire like, hey, Anthony, you got to stop just being so selfish, man. You got to put this knowledge out here for people, man. It's a lot of people that are getting a lot of misinformation from a lot of different sources. May that be, uh, you know, cable TV shows. I won't say any. any it's any not what you see on HGT. You know, just uh, maybe just various programs and. Uh, just people highlighting the high glamour things of real estate without really just breaking down the fundamentals. And, you know, this is really what this is about. I want to just show you fundamentals of how you can buy the hood. You may be seeing like vacant patches of land, like especially in Detroit, you'll see some blocks are just vacant, completely vacant. And all the homes have been torn down or it may just be one or two standing, or there may be neighborhoods that there are a lot of dilapidated homes that are primed for investment and rehabilitation and to you know get back on the tax rolls for the city so the city can begin receiving that new income from properties that we're just sitting or, you know, new homes for people that need homes. I mean, you know, there's a lot of opportunity in Detroit, and I'm speaking of Detroit because I'm in Detroit and I'm from Detroit, but, you know, this is anywhere, any urban community that you may be in, you know, Atlanta, uh, Cleveland, um, you know, Phoenix, anywhere. I mean, you know, just throughout the United States, and even maybe in other countries, because let me tell you an interesting story. So I wrote a book uh, a while ago. It was called The Art of Detroit Real Estate Magic. So this was actually my first, first attempt to even write a book, uh, believe it or not. But it wasn't the first book I published. Uh, the first book I published was called uh, How to Buy a Home on Land Contract. Uh, and my second book I published was uh, Detroit Real Estate Handbook. And by the way, uh, the link to those books are down below, and you can get them both right now on my website, uh, Five Star Real Estate Coaching dot com, or through Amazon, Barnes and Noble, or your favorite retail book outlet. Yeah. But anyhow, so I wrote this book. I was actually in a in a bad deep you know, spot at the time. I had, I had just went through a uh, separation with my ex-wife and I was out in California with my mom and just trying to clear my mind and get, get my thoughts together. I was very, you know, depressed at the time, uh, doing a lot of heavy drinking, you know, just trying to drown my sorrow, so to speak. But um, if anybody's been through a uh, separation or divorce, I'm sure you can, <laughs> you know, uh, feel me right now. But anyhow, uh, I, I wrote a book about this method of investing that I discovered actually where at the time after the market had crashed in Detroit, properties were selling so cheap 
Like uh, you could get a property for like a hundred dollars, you know, some even fifty, a hundred, two fifty, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. So I came up with an investment strategy where at that time the properties that were say less under a thousand dollars, the banks were actually paying commissions for like thousand, fifteen hundred, sometimes up to twenty five hundred dollars commission just to sell uh, $500 property. So I said, hey, how about I let the banks, you know, technically pay me to buy the properties from them. So I partnered with an investor, a uh, friend of mine at the time, and actually he was a business uh, partner too as well. And uh, he would buy the properties in his company's name, okay, and then I would, uh, he would put up the money to buy the property, which was, I mean, little to nothing. I mean, we're only talking about, you know, properties at that time were $500,000 or something. But, um, so, you know, say he put up the thousand dollars, right? So then the commission may be, uh, 1500, right? So basically we close the deal. I get the commission, give him back the thousand dollars. We split the extra 500 to 250 and then he would actually sign the property back over to me. So I walk away with a property and plus a little bonus money, you know, 250. But, you know, I put together a, a string of these deals like this, okay? And this actually, this worked for me for years, actually. I bought dozens and dozens of properties this way with a couple different investors. Um, so, but I, I, I used this strategy for a number of years, right? And I acquired a lot of properties and, you know, they were properties that probably sometimes in some situations should have been torn down. I mean, they weren't like fantastic investment properties. You know, I just were buying them for the sake of being able to essentially get them for free and actually, you know, make some money at the same time. So then I would package them together sometimes and sell them at, in bundles um, as a package deal to other investors that you know want to take on that challenge, you know. But hey, I actually wrote a book about this, okay? And I eventually published it called The Art of Detroit Real Estate Magic. So I, when I wrote the book, I had actually sent a copy of it to my mom, okay? Hey, mom. And uh, so she, I had lost track of the book okay over the years so I think it was a few years ago I, I asked my mom like hey mom do you still got that uh, that book I emailed you so she 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 must keep you know archives of her emails or something so she dug back in her archives found the book okay sent it to me I re-edited it I put it out okay and it wasn't a bestseller guys I'm not you know let's, let's just face it it, was, it, it, it wasn't you know, my best selling book by any means, okay? But the reason I'm telling you this story is that uh, I just recently connected with a investor, okay, from Nigeria, okay? All the way in Africa, Nigeria, who read this book, The Art of Detroit Real Estate Magic, became inspired, okay, learn something from the book okay and wanted to connect with me all right uh to be his buyer's agent here in detroit here in the united states to begin to buy properties and now he knows that these type of properties are no longer available and he's a very realistic and very sensible and intelligent man okay and the reason i'm bringing this up is that hey i wrote this book you know, to me, you know, maybe 10 years ago, okay? And through this, I was able to connect with this man. And he's coming with the approach of buying the hood here in Detroit, okay? Buying properties here in Detroit, and he's coming assembling a team, okay? And that's, that's really where I want to get to today, is the importance of knowing that you need a team to build a team around you when you come in to buy the hood. So he's already, before he even contacted me, okay, now he read my book and became inspired and everything, okay, but before he even reached out to me, he contacted a real estate attorney, 
here in Detroit, okay? So he already had a plan and a vision on how he's going to move forward. So he contacted the real estate attorney, which is a good member to have on your team, okay? He contacted the real estate broker, me, okay? So connect with the real estate agent, real estate broker, okay? He's connecting with a home, he calls it a home remodeler, but we would call that a contractor, okay? So you definitely need to connect with a contractor. Hey, you can connect with me and my company, Detroit Home Builders, LLC. Uh, the web address is 313builders.com. Or, hey, you know, I interviewed Miss Asia Denson, uh, Denson Construction Services. She has a great construction company as well, so definitely holler at her. Her information is be below, so whether you want to deal with a man or a woman, it's up to you. But we'll both uh, provide you with excellent service. But he also, you know, want to connect with uh, a surveyor, you know, and also an architect, okay? So this man is serious about his vision and his plan of coming in to buy uh, properties in Detroit, a.k.a. the hood, okay? And this is the type of approach and the type of mindset that you have to have, okay? How do I build my team, okay? What, what members do I need on my team? So I'm saying that you should consider an attorney definitely when you're dealing with any type of real estate and contracts, okay? So uh, I'm just a broker. I can help you prepare the documents. And the documents that I'm using are already prepared. You know, they were already prepared by attorneys. So I'm essentially just filling in the information, okay? And making sure that it's all in line with what you desire okay um but so you but you're definitely an attorney okay a real estate agent or a real estate broker okay you need a reliable contractor okay someone that has a good reputation and someone that could show you their work before and after it can maybe have some testimonials or referrals would be excellent you know uh you're gonna need a property manager Okay, especially if you're coming from out of state and even if you're local. I mean, because it's difficult to manage properties, especially in, in the city of Detroit uh, and in the cities, just because. I mean, hey, we have a lot of hardships that we have to deal with from time to time. Okay, so, but it could just become an overwhelming experience. I've, I've ran a property management company. Okay, I've ran other people's property management companies for them where they have actually hired me, you know, to run their company for them. And I've also ran my own property management company independently. And I let me tell you, that's that's a, you know, excuse my language, but that's a hell of a service. I mean, it's definitely uh, a, a, a major component that you're going to need, uh, especially if you plan to buy and hold rental properties, okay? And then I would also just say that you need to form relationships with uh, private inspectors, you know, and, and building inspectors, if you can, you know. So those are the main, I would say, the main five components that you would need when you want to begin to invest in the hood. And then, obviously, you're the major component also to it, you know. And then once you have a little bit of knowledge and uh, understanding of the processes of real estate and the paperwork and how to make an offer and how to find out if a property is a good deal or not and all those things with I, which I can show you, just, hey, just, you know, just connect with me. You know, visit my website, uh, Five Star Real Estate Coaching. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to teach you how to buy the hood. But I'm going to let you go, though. I mean, I, I don't want to just dump too much on you tonight, you know. And I just want you to, you know, rewind this back, listen to what I said, take some notes down, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if I'm vibing with you, if we connecting, you know, if we resonating, give me a call, you know, shoot me an email, visit my website. You know, I can mentor you in this real estate game. I can help you by the hood. This is Real Estate Culture Mentor Anthony Leggins. Peace.
there's a YouTube channel you will want to subscribe to, Real Estate Heat TV. Real Estate Heat TV is destined to be the hottest new real estate channel around. They provide original content and shows in an innovative, creative, entertaining, and educating way. The concept is to provide a supreme platform for other real estate-related channels and businesses to promote their respective businesses while providing the heat by sharing their knowledge, wisdom, and their expertise. Coaches Armand and Anthony bring the latest heat from the streets in the real estate industry, covering a broad and diverse range of topics, all geared towards helping you gain entry and have sustainable success in real estate. Real Estate Heat TV, the hottest new real estate channel. Check it out online at realestateheat.tv or on YouTube at Real Estate Heat TV. Share the channel on all of your social media so your friends can subscribe too. What are you waiting for? Real Estate Heat TV and Real Estate Heat TV on YouTube. Subscribe now.